Today's video is all about seizure first aid. For those who experience or nakakita na ng taong o pasyente na nagsi-seizure at sa hindi pa naka-experience. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. So ano nga ba ang seizure? A seizure is a sudden, uncontrolled electrical disturbance in the brain. It can cause changes in your behavior movements or feelings and in levels of consciousness. Yung seizure is yung uncontrolled movements na bigla ang paggalaw ng, uh, ng katawan. So, ayun nga, explain ko mamaya kung, kung ano ba yung uh, nangyayari sa brain kung bakit nagkaka-seizure ang isang tao. Our brain is composed of billions of cells called neurons. These neuron cells impulses to up the different parts of the body to tell what to do and in seizure or epilepsy rather is a uh, neurons may fire too rapidly that overwhelms the brain and causes seizure so we have uh, an illustration of our neurons so this is um, inhibitory and excitatory yung role ng inhibitory is sinusuppress niya itong excitatory pag nag-send na siya ng signal dito sasabihin niya girl tapos ka na nag-send ng messages tama na so ito naman is si excitatory siya yung parang way papunt na magsisend ng impulse ulit ng electrical impulse sa susunod na neurons so sa ang normal na process niya is eto magsusuppress nga then pupunta yung message then message then message sa seizure is itong inhibitory is nagdi-decrease yung regulation niya and then itong excitatory is nag-i-increase naman yung uh, kanyang function so dahil ito is nagdi-decrease yung regulation niya at ito nag-i-increase naman yung function niya si inhibitory hindi niya masusuppress ito hindi niya masasabihan na tumigil na kung kailan dapat tumigil so ito send lang ng send ng uh, impulse dito sa baba sa other neurons ito inhibitory hindi niya mapigilan na mag-send ng impulse pa sa other neurons so ang brain natin is maguguluhan hindi niya alam kung saan ba nagmumula yun. So, yun nga yung uh, function at nangyayari sa ating brain about dun sa excitatory and inhibitory. Naguguluhan yung brain natin sa dami ng impulse na sinised. Kaya, naguguluhan din yung ating katawan kung ano ba yung dapat niyang ikilo. So, yun, nagkakaroon tayo ng uncontrolled or jerky movements. So, ano nga ba ang mga dahilan kung bakit Uh, nagkaka-seizure ang isang tao. Isa po dito is yung uh, abnormal na level ng uh, sugar or ng glucose sa ating dugo or ng uh, sodium. Pangalawa is yung uh, brain infection such as meningitis and encephalitis. Pwede rin cause of uh, drug abuse. Pwede din yung uh, electrical shock. Isa pa dito ang brain tumors. Isa pa dito ang brain problems na nakukuha before pa ma may panganak ang baby. Yes, paano nga ba nakukuha yon na eh, kakapanganak lang pero may brain problems? Uh, pwedeng maging uh, nakuha ito or cause yung um, pinaka-critical na trimester ng mother which is yung first trimester. Ito is yung uh, first month to third month. Yun yung pinaka-critical kasi yung unang nagde-develop is yung brain ng fetus. At isa pa is yung brain uh, injuries na nakukuha rin ng baby during labor ng mother or during childbirth. And lastly, uh, epilepsy. Ang pinagkaiba ng epilepsy sa seizure. So, ang seizure is one episode lang ng uh, uncontrolled movements ng ating katawan. And ang epilepsy naman is a neurological condition which is two or more episodes of seizure. Symptoms that indicate a seizure is in progress includes losing of consciousness followed by confusion. So, yun, nawawalan muna ng malay yung pasyente. Tapos, yung pagka 
Tapos yung mawalan ng mali is napo-confuse siya. Nagiging disoriented yung uh, pasyente. Second is having uncontrolled muscle spasm. So, may mga types tayo ng seizure yung uh, mga basic na alam ng mga tao na seizure is yung as in yung buong katawan ay gumagalaw. Pero may mga seizure din na nagpapatigas lang ng katawan tas tumitirok yung mata or uh, nagiging uh, tumitirok parang tinatawag na blank stare, yun pala nagsiseizure na. So, uh, third is yung drooling or frothing of the mouth. And falling, yun po, falling, yun po yung sa loss of consciousness. Kaya ang pinaka, pinaka, pinaka unang gagawin mo sa pasyente is i-protect yung head. So, i-protect mo yung head, lalo na pag nasa flat surface, uh, matigas na surface. Uh, kailangan na may ilagay tayo na soft na bagay sa ulo. Yes, to protect the head. <laughs> Tapos, clenching your teeth, biting your tongue. So, uh, yung sa mga past, ang alam nila is dapat before seizure maglagay ng kutsara, kutsara sa mouth. So, bawal na po yun ngayon. Do not put anything to the patient's mouth. Having sudden rapid eye movements. Yun po, jerky movements kasabay nung uh, like this, like that. So, making unusual noises such as grunting, losing control of bladder, of bowel function. Kaya may mga pasyente na pag nag-seizure is nakakaihi or nakakatai sila kasi wala silang uh, control, wala silang bladder control, having sudden mood changes. Yun po, kasama ng uh, disorientation, mood changes after the episode. So we have words that describe generalized seizures. First is tonic. Tonic means muscles in the body become stiff. Tumigas. Then a tonic. Muscles in the body relax. So, nag-relax. For example, yung, uh, di ba, nakakaihi or Nakakata yung mga pasyente. Yes, that's a tonic. Muscles in the body relax. Nag-relax yung mga sphincter nila down there. So, yeah. Next is myoclonic. Short jerking in parts of the body. Short jerkings on parts. Clonic. Periods of shaking or jerking parts of the body. Yes, like whole body is literally shaking. <laughs> Seizure are classified into two groups. So, ito i-explain ko po sa inyo yung types ng seizure. First is generalized seizure affect both sides of the brain. So, left and right um, affected siya. First, under the generalized seizure is absent seizure. Sometimes called petit mal seizure can cause rapid blinking or a few seconds of staring into space. Ito yung hindi mo alam, nagsiseizure ka na pala. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na blank stare seizure. Then, a tonic-clonic seizures, also called a grand mal seizure, can make a person cry out, loss of consciousness, fall to the ground, have more muscle jerks of spasm. Yun yung talagang uh, gumagalaw na yung buong katawan, yung mata and everything. Yun yung grand mal seizure or tonic-clonic seizure. Number two, focal seizure are located in just one area of the brain. So, yung kanina is dalawang brain. Ngayon naman, yung focal seizure is uh, half lang ng brain. It's either right or left tayo. This seizure are also called partial seizure. Yes, uh, partial kasi nga half lang of the brain. So, first under focal seizure is simple focal seizures. Affect a small part of the brain. These seizures can cause twitching or a change in sensations such as a strange taste or smell. So, may mga pagkakataon na yung patients na nagsiseizure na hindi na alam, yun uh, nag-iiba yung panlasa or a uh, sense of smell nila, pang amoy nila. Twitching lang siya or a change of sensation. So, parang nag-twitch lang siya. <laughs> So, like that. Next, under focal seizure is complex focal seizure. Can make a person with epilepsy confused or dazed. The person will be unable to respond to question or direction for up to a few minutes. Ito yung uh, disorientation. Disorientation ng patient. After 
an episode. Last under focal seizure is secondary generalized seizures begin in one part of the brain but then spread to both sides of the brain. In other words, the person first has a focal seizure followed by a generalized seizure. So, pwede din yun mauna yung half of the brain lang. Tapos, yung presenting of neurons, then both brain na siya. I mean, all of the lobes and everything, frontal, temporal, parietal, and occipital. All brains. So, hindi lahat po ng seizure ay emergency or kailangan ng immediate attention from the health professionals. Isa sa mga pinaka importanteng gigagawin pag nakakita ng taong nagsisizure is orasan mo kung uh, gaano katagal yung episode na yun so kung naglast siya ng 5 minutes yan na yung sign mo na tumawag ka na or dalhin mo na yung pasyente sa hospital mga pasyente na uh, lucky para magkaroon ng aura aura in seizure explain yeah. as Warning na alam mo na magkakaroon ka na ng episode ng seizure. Doctors refer to the warning as an aura, an event that can manifest as music, swirling colors, a memory, a sense of impending doom, a smell or a taste, a rising nausea, or an intense sensation of deja vu. Seizure first aid. Protect from injury. Stay with the person. Do not put anything in Loosen the mouth. Loosen anything tight around the neck. Do not restrain the person. Time the seizure. Roll the person on his or her side as the seizure subsides. After the seizure, talk to the person reassuringly. So I think that's it for today's vlog. Sana po nag-enjoy kayo at may natutong aral or information ngayon sa vlog ko. So pag may gusto pa kayong i-explain ko sa mga content ko or uh, sa mga susunod na vlog, just comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tap the post notification bell so that you will be notified for my next vlog. Be real, be you.